When looking under the oil cap and you see white sludge buildup, what does this indicate? Technician A states condensation buildup from weather changes. Technician B says too many short trips. Is it both A and B? Or is it ice cream topping being made naturally inside the vehicle? Let me know your answer. I'll give you a few seconds. Let me answer the question to you. It's actually both A and B. You can have weather changes that end up heating up or decreasing the temperature of the oil inside the vehicle, causing some moisture buildup or too many short trips. It's like kind of like a beer can. You take the beer can or the soda can out of the fridge and you go out to it on the deck. It's a hot summer day. All of a sudden the condensation starts to build up and then you take it and you stick it back in the fridge again, right? And moisture stays there because it didn't sit out there in the heat long enough to burn off the moisture. Same thing happens with your engine. When your engine is really cold and then you start it, you generate all that heat inside, but you short trip the vehicle and then you shut it back off. All that moisture builds up inside the system. Some of it tries to accumulate all the way at the highest point, which ends up in the oil cap. It causes that sludgy, foamy buildup. And it accumulates up in the valve covers, things like that. That's why it's not a good idea to start the vehicle up, run it down the road and shut it off without letting it warm up. Sometimes it's nice letting the vehicle warm up a little bit before you take off. You're not going to be running it for more than, let's just say, 10 minutes because you'll generate a little bit of heat. So maybe just a little bit of extra idle time, even though that's not necessarily good for the vehicle, can negate some of the moisture buildup because you're only going to run down the road, shut the vehicle off, and come back. So the answer to the question is both technician A and B because too many short trips can cause the moisture buildup in the oil cap and the con condensation build up whenever weather change happens which you can't do anything about that other than maybe start the vehicle and run it every once in a while to get some of that moisture out of it thanks for watching there is one more scenario blown head gasket something wrong with the cooling system cracked cylinder wall coolant jack cracked something like that where coolant ends up getting the oil Normally that's not a normal characteristic, but if you're pretty sure you're not short tripping the vehicle and it's not because of weather changes, I would be pressure testing the cooling system, pull the dipstick out, pull the oil cap off, and while you're pressure testing the cooling system, make sure you're not getting any kind of crazy vapors and stuff coming out of the oil fill cap or the dipstick tube, because if you are, chances are you have a, some kind of issue with the cooling system where it's actually leaking into areas that it doesn't belong. You can find those kits at Harbor Freight, you can find a quick uh, pump style coolant pressure testers with the caps that go on the reservoir or you can actually get a pneumatic one from one of your tool distributors or online where you can use shop air with a regulator and then a little valve to open and close um, to supply air to the cooling system and test it that way.